Hi there, Cancer, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 12th through to the 18th. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Cancer. First up, we have Major Arcana, the High Priestess, Afraid. Followed then by the King of Swords, reversed. And next we have the King of Wands in the upright. Followed then by the Two of Swords, reversed. And lastly, we have the Six of Wands in the upright. So for your overall energy, Cancer, we have the High Priestess. You need to listen to that legendary intuition that the water signs tend to have. We sense things before they happen, we notice little nuances, and get insights into things. This week, it's going to be very important for you, Cancer, to listen to your intuition. Looks like something important may be coming up this week, and you're going to have to read between the lines. Nobody can help you with this. That's the thing about the High Priestess. It's hidden knowledge. Uh, for those of you who do do meditation and um, even just, you know, sit quietly and, and listen, tap into your intuition. Or if you're just strong on following your gut, then you'll be good this week. So there could be something going on behind the scenes, behind the curtain that you're not aware of. So just be mindful of that. Now coming right at the beginning of the week, we do have the King of Swords here in the reverse position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is air energy, that of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now sometimes like uh, it could be uh, also representative of say uh, a legal personality. This can sometimes represent a police officer a judge, a lawyer, a uh, military personnel, or even a surgeon, anybody who deals with the sharpness of things, and the tongue, uh, the silver-tongued king of swords when he's in the upright, when he's in the reverse, not so much. So sometimes the king of swords in reverse can indicate you're being stonewalled by somebody. Maybe someone is ghosting you. Maybe somebody is not talking to you. Um, could be why you need to listen to your intuition. You were trying to understand what happened. This person just kind of went silent on you. Um, so you could be getting the silent treatment, but this could also be representative of you trying to get a hold of someone. Now, maybe you're trying to reach your lawyer or a police officer or somebody in a situation like that, and you can't get a hold of them. So there could be something going on, could be some stalled information or some information that's shoved to the background, it hasn't been brought to the forefront that you don't know about just yet. Um, whatever is happening here it's individual to each of you remember these are just general readings so only take what applies if it applies it applies if not maybe some of you can't get a hold of your surgeon or their your surgery has been postponed or you can't get a hold of your lawyer or court's been postponed it could be something like that uh, also too just be careful sometimes the king of swords in reverse can point to um perhaps a run-in with a police officer so don't park your car in a no parking zone that kind of thing um, yeah, okay, just be careful with that. <laughs> it's paired up here with the King of Wands. Now, another court card could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy. That varies, Leo, Sag. Sun, moon, arising, male or female. But the King of Wands is in the upright. So this person, this could be your spouse, this could be your uh you know boyfriend girlfriend bff what have you could be a family member uh again general reads so whoever the king of wands represents unless it's representing you embodying the energies of the king of wands but this is a go-getter king of wands takes action on things could be moving forward maybe this is your spouse perhaps you've been asking them for quite some time to get a move on maybe you want them to fix that leaky faucet or something like that and they're finally doing it for others of you this could be someone who wants you to get moving maybe you need some information and so that you can move on or to get something done and you're not getting it done. Maybe you need a permit and you can't get hold of the per person, but you need to get moving. Sometimes the King of Wands can represent travel. So maybe some of you are trying to get documents or things like that so that you can travel, you can go somewhere. For others of you, this could just be uh, somebody in your life who's sort of poking and prodding you and wanting you to get moving. It could be your boss, maybe even, who's uh, who's you know constantly 
cracking the whip, so to speak. You got to go. You got to do this. You got to do that. It could be, you know, very hectic at the beginning of the week, but maybe you're frustrated because you can't get the documents. Or you can't get a hold of this person, but you need to move forward. See, listen to your intuition about this because moving forward, you do and you make a decision regardless. So I think you are going to listen ultimately to what your gut is saying about something. Two of swords in the upright is a card that represents a stalemate not knowing to go right or left because we feel we don't have enough information when the card is inverted however it can point to the ace of swords in the upright which is a card of clarity and having the information so that we can make a clear and uh, you know definitive decision about something so you are going to make a decision here Maybe you get moving regardless. Maybe you sense what's, you know, what the information is that's missing, or you know why the person, or you figure out why the person is stonewalling you. And then you just move ahead and you make a decision that leads you right to a victory. <laughs> Interesting reading here, because now we have the Six of Wands in the upright position, which is the card of work well done, pats on the back, being well received. It comes right at the weekend. So maybe for some of you, perhaps you're traveling somewhere. You could be traveling to go see uh, family members or something. And they're very happy to see you. This is about a lot of attention being bestowed upon you. And it's about uh, victory having some kind of completion. So it does look like a really good week here uh, at Cancer. There's lots going on, but you do need to listen to your intuition. And it could be about missing information or somebody who's ghosting you. So that is your reading. I really hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.